invite the children forward and Miss Amy has the children's moment today. It looks like I just have Addie and Aubrey and then Addie over there. And they all know me, but some of you don't know me. And my name is Amy, and I'm married to Mr. Tommy, as Aubrey likes to call him. And then I have Callie and Macy and Billy as my children. And so about, oh, and then look, we have Grace and Kendall. Good morning, girls. So I have to tell you guys, about a week ago, Miss Susan emailed me. And you know what she asked me? She said, oh, Miss Amy, I need a favor. And I said, oh, okay, no big deal. I like to help out when I can. She says, I needed to do children's moments. I thought, okay, I've done it before, no big deal. And she said, I need, to talk, I need you to talk about being joyful, being happy. I thought, well, I can talk about that. I'm happy. You know, I've seen that movie Inside Out, and you know, Joy, I like her. She's like, oh, I'm happy all the time. Well, so she says, okay, I've got three dates for you to pick from. I said, okay, she gave me today, which is the 10th. She said the 17th, and she said the 24th. And I emailed her back, and I said, well, I need to do it the 17th. And why do I need to do it the 17th? Because it's my mom's birthday. It's my birthday next Sunday. And I thought, well, what better way to do children's moment than to say, oh, it's my birthday. You guys could sing happy birthday to me. We would be all joyful and happy, and it would be easy. Easy. Wouldn't have to open my Bible. I wouldn't have to study what she's going to talk about. I just do my own thing. Well, God said, mm mm, Amy, it doesn't work like that. So, you know what? God told Miss Susan, and you know, God does those. You know what? He does, He works through people and He tells us things. He told Miss Susan, He said, nope, you got to have her do it on the 10th. So, Miss Susan emails me and says, Amy, I need you to do it on the 10th. And I'm like, oh. But then I gotta open my Bible and I gotta study and I gotta read what she's gonna talk about. I don't really wanna do that. So I wasn't too happy. I kinda was like, ah, oh, kinda a little frustrated. So I open my Bible and I pull up the sermon that she's gonna talk about. And the first word I see is this word Billy's gonna show us. Ah, oh, this word. Do you guys know what that says? You guys can read. Blessed. Okay, blessed. Well, the Bible says, and God wants us to feel blessed, and he wants us to feel really happy. Not just like, ooh, happy, like, oh, okay, I got an A plus on a test, happy. Like happy, like Christmas morning happy every single day when we get out of bed. Now, do we feel like that every day? No, we don't. But God wants us to feel like that. And I'm like, well, okay. So he wants me to feel blessed every single day when I get up. So I read some more of what Susan's going to talk about. And, she, and, and in the Bible, we talk. Jesus does a sermon, and he talks about these really cool things called the... These really cool things called the Beatitudes. And I know the older ones are like, but it's not spelled B-E-E. -E. I know. But to me, in my mind, I saw like a B with some attitude, right? And so I read, and I'm going through there, and there's all these blessings, and God's telling me all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. We can talk about these Beatitudes. And I, I found this little bee in the girls' room, and thought this, this will go easy, okay? So I'm thinking about times I've been blessed. Now, like I told you, some mornings we get up and we don't feel blessed. Well, I'll tell you, and some of you might know this, but about two and a half years ago, show the picture. No, the picture. about two and a half years ago, this guy in this picture, see him right there? He's with the girls. Well, that's my dad. The girls is grandpa. And about two and a half years ago, he went up to heaven. And, you know, you see, I was really sad, and I told myself I wasn't going to cry in front of you guys because it's really sad, right? But have you ever felt a time in your life when you're just really sad? You know what God says? He says, don't be sad. Be blessed. Because you know what? Before my dad passed, I wasn't coming here. I didn't know you guys. And you know what God said in that sad moment? He said, Amy, be blessed. 
I'm going to bless you with a church family. I'm going to bless you with all these kids on this stage, and I'm going to bless you, and you're going to go to church, and you're going to know about God. Isn't that cool that he did that in that moment when I'm completely empty and lonely? He says, don't worry, Amy. I bless you. So we moved past that. We got something else really cool to talk about. Okay, we can put him away now. All right, so as I'm reading through there, and remember when I was really kind of mad at Miss Susan, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it on the 10th. I want to do it. You know, I wasn't being very nice, was I? I was kind of grumpy. I didn't tell Miss Susan that till this morning. I told her I was, I was kind of mad at you. But in the Beatitudes, it says, show them the picture, Bill. Have a B attitude, not a me attitude. Now, I'm telling you, I was having a me attitude. I was saying, I'm mad. I don't want to think about anybody else but myself because it's my birthday, and I wanted to do it on my birthday. God said, no, Amy, mm -mm. you got to do it on somebody else's birthday. So yesterday was somebody else's birthday. And so God said, no, Amy, you can't have a me attitude. you got to have a be attitude, and you got to think of others, and you can't get mad, and you got to be patient. Now, that's really hard. You know, sometimes God has a plan for us, and we got to be patient, and it's got to be in his timing that we do things. So I'll tell you, as you get older, you know, they tell you to, like, set these goals for yourself. You know, go to college, find a husband, have some kids. Okay, so I did those things. I went to college, found a husband, Mr. Tommy, as like Aubrey likes to call him, and have kids. I didn't want to have one child because I was an only child, and, oh, I didn't really like that. So we said we have two kids. We had Callie. And we had Macy. Now, that's it. You know, there's one, two of us. We can go to the grocery store, one, two. We are responsible for one, two. God said, oh, Amy, mm-mm-mm, nope, surprise. She is my God gift surprise. God said, uh-uh, Amy, you got to have Billy. And you know what's crazy about Billy is, well, when I was pregnant with her, she was this crazy, like she kind of is now, you know, like was going to come out like hot mess hair all the time, wear mismatched shoes on the wrong feet, want her sisters, want herself, never clothes matching. You know, she just bought this dress for her birthday and we were going to wear it today. But while she was in my belly, have you know it, when I was, mm, we didn't really know if we were having a boy or girl or not. We said, couldn't pick out a name, couldn't decide on a name. We never could decide on names. But I said, you know what? She is like a crazy bee in my belly. And so have you know it, she got her name by her initials first. And so her initials started out being the crazy bee in my belly. And so her name is Billy Elena Evans and B. And I just think that's really cool because through all of this and me grumbling at Miss Susan over there saying, but I want to do it on my birthday. God taught me to have that be attitude, and then I needed to share it with others and let her kind of have the spotlight moment. But through all of this, I know it's a lot to talk about. I just want you to know that God has a plan for you, and even though it may not be the plan you want, maybe you didn't make that basketball team, or maybe your brother just took the last piece of candy out of the candy bowl, and you're really mad, and maybe you didn't get that toy you wanted when you went to the store. But just remember, God's blessing you through everything, and it's in his time that things are going to happen. All right, we're going to pray, and then we're going to go over there and worship God, all right? Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot. Billy wanted us to show you the shirt she wore at her first birthday party. It's a B. All right, let's go in attitude of prayer. Dear Only Father, I am so, so, so blessed. And Scripture tells us that in moments of our life, we just we need to feel your blessings. And Lord, you bless me. And just like this little moment here of me grumbling with Miss Susan about how I wanted it to be about me, you showed me through Scripture that it is not about me. It's about loving others. And Lord, I just want these children to know that God has a path for them. And you always promise you're one step ahead of us on that path. And you will guide us. May these children face that path with eyes in front and stay on your path, Lord, and you just always be with them as you promise. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen.